wanted to demonstrate how photos can be animated using GIMP and Nero. So what better way to do this than by using a 600 year old painting of the Mona Lisa. Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to share an idea with you. If you've seen my first tutorial on Nero Platinum 17, you will have this program downloaded on your computer. I will leave a link in the description to this tutorial. And you will also have GIMP2 downloaded and installed on your computer. So to start with, I'm going to click the desktop icon for GIMP2 and it will open. I'm coming up to the top left hand side and I'm clicking on file and I'm going to click to open a file. And I have this file on my D drive and it's this file here which is called new image. And then I click left click to open. Now I'm going to scale up this picture so it's easier to work with and I'm going to use this tool here which is the lasso tool and I'm going to work my way around this image and I'm cutting or marking around where the curtain on this screen is. And This will take a little while. I could be far more accurate with this if I had the time, but I don't want to take too long. When I get back to the beginning, you see that this area is marked, so I have selected this area of the screen. So what I need to do now is add an alpha channel. So I come across to the right hand side of the screen, I right click, I come down to where it says add alpha click channel and I left click. And what I can now do is select a rubber and I'm going to size up the size of this rubber so that it's easier to use. I've got a very big rubber here now and I'm going to choose to use a very harsh rubber and I'm going to rub away at that screen and that leaves an image that is checkered and that checkered area I can see through and if I export this file as a .png file when I import it into Nero, I will be able to see through that stage. So I come up to uh, the top left, I left click, I export as, and what I'm going to do up here is give it a different name. And I know that I want a, a PNG file. And I'm going to take, change the name of this file to test and then I'm going to export it and it's going to go to my D drive so I click export and I make sure I have the highest quality and I click to export. Now what I'm going to do is come up to the top left hand side where it says edit I'm going to undo erase, I'm going to come across to where it says uh, view, I'm going to click and I'm going to come down to where it says invert. So I'm on select where it says invert, I left click and that allows me then to rub the stage out. 
and again I'm going to come up and I'm going to left click on file I'm going to come down to where it says export as and I'm going to give that a different name calling it two I've got it as a dot png file I'm clicking export and again I'm exporting it in the highest quality and that is it for GIMP so I'm just going to close out I don't need to save the changes and then I need to come down to where it says Nero Platinum 17 and on the icon left click to open I'm clicking on Nero video because I'm going to make a video I'm coming to where it says make advanced movie and I left click and it opens in this screen here I'm coming up to the top where it says import top right import files with a left click I'm going to look I'm in my D drive here I'm going to use CTRL on my keyboard I'm going to select those two files and click open and then I'm going to bring both files in together if I click on the on the file if I click <laughs> if I get it if I eventually get them to separate I can then look at what I've got what I need is this file on the bottom and I need this file on the top these are two video lines and I'm going to make those two images longer I left click on the edge of that image and I do the same on the one below left click hold drag until at the same point and they will play for 15 seconds now those images are too small and um, I've got this set at 4k and this image isn't anywhere near 4k but <coughs> to make it fit I can come over here where I can get hold of the edge of the image left click hold drag and I scale that image up and I then choose a curtain by coming to the video line one clicking that selected the curtain again I get hold of the image and I drag that image to fit the screen now if I want that image to change if I play that image it's just basically a photograph so I'm going to stop the play and I'm going to select the curtain and I need to go to position I left click on this I choose use keyframes I choose how I want that image to move I'm going to get it to start to move gradually and then speed up and then slow down that's why I selected that particular image symbol there now what I'm going to do is I select the curtain I click on the curtain hold down and push up and because now I've remembered to set the position I get a little dot here and the video line expands and if I get hold of that little dot and move it along the curtain comes back down and if I move the timeline to the beginning I can then play and instead of it being a picture all of a sudden it's a curtain going up so I've basically created a video so what I need to do is have something on the stage to watch and I'm going to do that in my next video so I hope that you've enjoyed the first part of this tutorial and that you try this technique out and I will see you again next time thank you for watching